So here I am in Visual Studio 2013 and I'm going to do some practice with variables and data types so and printf and scanf. So the first thing I want to do is I can open a recent project if I want to or I can start from scratch and create a new, pro new project. So I'm going to open a recent project which is my practice project. So as I open my practice project, uh, this was my code was test.c and I created this just so I would have a template set up ready in order to practice if I wanted to practice some of the some stuff that we we're doing in class. So I'm before I do anything I'm going to test it to make sure that it runs and it does run and it uh, puts hello world onto the screen. And then I'm just going to do some uh, printf and scanf with some variables. So we have three different data types that we'll, we will be using in this class. The first is int and that's for storing things like whole numbers and uh, no numbers without precision. So whole, negative and positive whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, negative 10. And we'll never need extra long integers or anything in this class. So that's the first data type. So I have an integer. The next data type is double. Double is for uh, is for storing numbers that have precision, like averages and things like that. So I'm going to uh, call this variable uh, average. And the next type of variable is a character, which I'm going to call letter. So I'm just going over uh, the different ways that you can use printf and scanf with the with variables. So the first variable is an integer and if I want to scan into it we have three different types of placeholders. We have percent %d, percent %lf, and percent %c for scanf. And with printf, we have percent %d, percent %f, and percent %c. So it, in the beginning of the course, all we really need to worry about are these three data types and these six placeholders. Scanf is for reading in from the keyboard, and printf is for printing back onto the screen. So basically what I want to do is I want to scan in for each of these and print them back onto the screen. So the first one is an integer. So if I want to scan in an integer, I would do scanf, and then I would put my placeholder, percent %d, and then ampersand, always remember the ampersand with scanf, and then the name of the variable, which is number. Now I just wanted to show you what happens if I choose to just put a scanf there and I don't put a prompt in front of it. Well, if I put a scanf there without a prompt, my user, whoever's interacting with this program, will have no idea what they're supposed to be doing with that little white, uh, with that little white blinking uh, cursor there. So what I need to do is I need to, before each scanf, I need to put a printf, which says, enter a number in this case. If it was going to be a character, I would say enter a character. And if it was going to be a double, I would say enter a double. So I could say enter a number or enter an integer. And in this way, then I can build the solution and run it. And now when it pops up, my user knows what I want them to enter. I can enter an, an integer. And now I've entered the integer. And if I would like to uh, just echo back what the user has entered, I can say, uh, remember to format with backslash n, you entered, put a placeholder for the integer, and I can echo back to the user the number that they entered. So let's try this. If you notice, each time I make a change, I, I test it. I do one little thing, and then I test and make sure that it works. So I say, enter an integer, and then I tell the user, you entered 345. 
So uh, this is just to get you started to show you about declaring variables uh, the other end using printf and scanf. So the next thing that you should do is take this te little test program and try uh, to ask the user to enter a double and to ask the user to enter a character and practice with those.